Assalamu alaikum, what's up guys? Alright, so this video is actually highly requested. A lot of you guys have asked about this video. And what I intend to show you guys in this video is how to register on the Nusuk app. I'm not talking about Nusuk Hajj, I'm talking about the Nusuk app. Uh, and that app is used specifically for Umrah permits and Rodha Mubarak permits. Now, uh, one thing I do want to mention, uh, nowadays you don't really need an Umrah permit, but it's always good to do that and follow the rules. Because, because one thing I want to mention is, uh, you know, our people, and when I say our people, I just mean like us Muslims in general. When there's rules in place and protocols in place, we tend not to really follow them. And I think it's a good gesture and a good thing to follow them. You know, if we have a system in place, why shouldn't we follow it? So that there's, uh, you know, order and uh, you can get things done properly, you know. So, that's why I want to make this video. So that you can understand that the Nusuk app is how you use it, how do you register on there, how do you use it, and uh, kind of go from there. Now, before I get into it, before I head to my office and sit down on my desk like I always do, <laughs> I got to do a few pre-Bakra'i things. So I'll show you guys a, a little bit around. Uh, there's only a few days left till Eid, inshallah. So I got my haircut done 10 days prior, alhamdulillah, uh, and I have a few other things. So a couple of errands to run, so I'm going to get those done. And then, and then I will head to my office and inshallah, and show you guys how to go through the Nusuk app. Now at this point, I just want to mention that roughly about 80-82% of viewers on my channel are not subscribed to my channel. And it would greatly mean a lot to me if, uh, you know, if you watch my videos, you benefit from them. Just to subscribe to my channel, maybe like the videos uh, every so often, comment uh, any questions, anything you have to say, just comment. I love getting feedback from you guys, um, and I also like to see, and I also love to see the support. So uh, please, if you haven't, please do, inshallah. Let's take it from here. Okay, so I'm going to walk through the Nusuk app right now, and I'm going to show you guys how to first locate it, and then, uh, you know, set up your profile, things like that, and then uh, the features of the app. So uh, I'll try to make this very to the point. All right, so pick up my phone right now, and uh, I'm using my Galaxy for this. You can see that uh, I typed Nusuk on the Play Store and you see Nusuk right here, Ministry of Hajj and Umrah. Make sure you download this one. So we're gonna hit install, okay? It's gonna take a minute to install, 65 MB, so it's not too, too big. Take it. So when you install, we're gonna open it up. And, okay, there we go. It's a new version. It looks really nice, honestly. Uh, so you can see login with Nafaz, login and create account. So if you have a Nafaz app, if you have a Nafaz login, you can log in. But uh, if you're watching this video, you probably don't. Uh, and you probably don't have an account on the like yet. Uh, so we're going to do create account. Though I do want to mention that if you had an iTomar account, you can use that to log in. It might give you a thing where you have to change your password or something like that, but you can use the same credentials. So, uh, okay. Create account. So let's get you started. Saudi Arabian citizen or resident? No. Gulf Cooperation Council citizen. So any of the GCC uh, countries. So you know UAE, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, Oman, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, international visitor. So we're international. Uh, but nationality. I'm choosing the American. So United States or whichever country you are from. Put in your passport number. And then you have to enter your visa number here, as you can see. I'm going to try to use the old one because uh, I'm actually going to do a visa arrival. I'm going to do a visa on arrival when I uh, go from Omer to Inshallah. All right, now you want to enter your date of birth. You can do Gregorian or Hijri. I don't know my Hijri <laughs> date of birth. I only know my Gregorian. Uh, okay. You require special assistance. So this is for the uh, uh, older viewers, the elderly who are watching this. Uh, if you need like a wheelchair, anything like that, or any special accommodation, you can select yes. But I'm going to go ahead and select no. I'm going to set up a password. And uh, I understand that this service is for Muslims. And then I have read and accept, accepted the terms and conditions. So you can go through the TSC, TNC if you want, but it's pretty standard. You know, I'm just going to create. Enter your mobile number. If you have a Saudi Arabia uh, phone number, you go ahead and enter that. If not, we're going to just put in American number, dot right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my email. So I'm going to use the one I have for my YouTube channel. All right, so I should receive an OTP. Let's go ahead and open up the email and check. 
Okay, so the email actually comes in Arabic and English, so don't get thrown off if you you know you don't know Arabic. But uh, I got my code eight five four eight. All right, so now that our account has been verified, I'm going to now log into my account. Okay, so I hit login. I'm choosing my country, passport number, and then password. Now, what is my password? That's a very good question. Okay, I can't find my password, so I'm going to do need help logging in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in my nationality. So this is good in case that, uh, you know, anybody else forgot their password after making it. But um, I'm trying to log into my old account, basically, because I already have an account. You know, I just went through a test account, a test sign up, just so you guys know the process. But uh, I have an old account, and I'm using a different phone, so I can run around. It's great. Okay, so OTP did come through. So I'm doing something right. And apparently it's on my other email. Let's see. Aitmarna. <laughs> I got an email from Aitmarna. Well, that's how old my account is. Okay, log in, new password. All right, we're going to log back in. Finally going to log back in. United States of America. Okay, so another OTP. Okay, again from Aitmarna. 5487. Log in. All right. Welcome to my profile. You can see it's Fajr Gawat. Fajr Gawat Tasya Bochata in Makkah. I hope I said it right. <laughs> That's me using complicated Urdu. I'm not good at it. Okay. So, anyways, we have our Nusun digital wallet. Let's just check that out real quick. Uh, very cool. Complete the application, get full access to your own wallet and card. So, you can see here limited access, seamless international transfers with Nusun digital wallet. You receive an IBAN from Saudi National Bank. So you basically have a Saudi account, which is pretty cool. Mada card. You create your digital wallet. You'll also receive a Mada card, a local Saudi network, payment network. And this card is issued automatically and can be collected from the airport you selected during the wallet creation process, providing you with easy access to your funds as soon as you arrive and transaction limits. For your financial security, the Nusik digital wallet includes a monthly transaction limit of 10,000 SAR. This cap ensures you manage your finances safely with the ability to conduct both credit and debit transactions up to this amount each month oh gosh uh i forgot to record the audio <laughs> go figure so uh now you're going to notice a better audio quality from here on forward but uh the remainder of the video the, in the beginning of the video probably wasn't too great but it's okay <laughs> uh that's what happens it's friday so uh what i might just do honestly is uh create a separate video just for the nosuk digital wallet just because i want to you know i want the main maksad the main point of this video to be the nosuk app so let's just go back I'm gonna go back okay so you can see there's hajj umrah and roda mubarak so hajj service not available now so what this means is down the road that this app you'll actually be able to register and apply for hajj uh on this app soon inshallah inshallah maybe it could be for next year who knows uh, if that happens i mean that's gonna be really cool uh, I'll definitely make a walkthrough on that. Let's go to Umrah because that's what we're here for. So apply for Umrah. You can see my profile is a little bit glitch. It doesn't show my name, but I'm just going to click the box because I know this is correct. I've used it many times. Uh, you can see that there's no slots available currently for June and for July. Tika. And the reason behind this is because it's uh, currently a Hajj season right now. So we can't apply for a permit currently. But uh, basically what the idea is that after Hajj, you're going to see about close to about one month of bookings available. And you can just book your Umrah slot. It'll tell you like the estimated how much rush there will be based on the time too. So you'll select a day and you'll see that. Uh, let's actually go back just to show you guys. Uh, You'll see that uh, green means low crowd, ye yellow means moderate, and red means high. So when you select your date, uh, it might be a green date, but then you can see the different time slots. And usually uh, before Fudger is pretty quiet, it's not too much for Fudger time. There's uh, usually a rush and going up until like Zohar time uh, during the prime daytime, uh, you know, when it's really hot. There's a lot of pilgrims out there, surprisingly, but uh, and then it picks up a lot more than that during Maghrib and Nisha. So best time, in my opinion, is before Fudger. And then, uh, you know, once you're done with Umrah, perform Fajr there and then, you know, get the Nahar done, uh, <laughs> shaving of the head done or haircut done and khalas. So anyways, uh, that's Umrah. Now, Roda Mubarak, uh, you need a permit actually for Roda Mubarak. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this and you can see that I have one date, Alhamdulillah, available. I'm not going to select. I'm not going to actually choose it, but you can do morning or evening. And then you can see the timing here. So morning, evening. Uh, you can only do this once a month uh, unless it's changed. But as far as I know, once a month. So I don't want to waste this, you know, inshallah. So um, I'm just going to leave this be.
But that's for going to the road of Mubarak uh, and sitting there, being able to do your two rakat, uh, uh, you know, sunnah nafal uh, in the road of Mubarak in Riyaz al-Jannah next to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So super important, super special. Uh, and then you can see performing Umrah, your journey away, so you can apply for the permit and then Novo Roda Mubarak. You can do the Arafat live sermon from here. So uh, you can actually watch it from here once it's uh, live. You can look at the maps uh, here and then it'll have maps from Makkah and Medina. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, there we go. And you can see that there's uh, facilities available, the King Fahad extension, Bab al Fatah tells you the gates, the bridges, a Jihad bridge, handicap wheelchair service. It's very uh, intuitive. Uh, and you have it also for Medina. Uh, sorry, let me just move it. There we go. Medina, same thing. Uh, Prophet Sallallahu Mosque, uh, the exhibition for the expansion, uh, lost and found. Gate uh, gate number 34, Zamzam water distribution, and so on and so forth. Public services, you can go here and kind of uh, filter based on uh, what you need as well. Like care centers, like for medical, you can see that there's two here. Prince Muhammad bin Abdulaziz Airport Branch, and then one in Masjid Nawi Sharif al uh care center. I think that's uh, on the uh, genital Baki uh, side, if I'm not mistaken. So that's Nusuk Maps. Al Haramain live sermon, and uh, you can click that and view that. Uh, communication internet packages, if you need to buy any, uh, probably is not going to be available. Yeah. So uh, I don't think that feature is available just yet. Kibla Compass, very nice. You can turn around and, oh, you have to calibrate your device. Tilt to move. Your... Let's do this. Okay. Success. Okay. So we can see that uh, the Kaaba is roughly this way. Mashallah. Okay, so uh, then you have electric carts. So uh, you can book an electric cart from here as well. I don't want to get into that just because you might might need a permit. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, Tawaf. We'll go one seater. We don't need a driver. So, okay, actually, you can see it. So for, just for Tawaf, if you wanted to get a one seater, 57 Saudi Riyal. If you want to get two seaters, 115. If you want a driver, same price. Uh, if you want to do Sa'i, same price. 115 for a two seater and 57 for a single seater. And the driver is no extra cost. Then Tawaf and Sa'i uh, combined, uh, 230. So you can see it was 115 for Sa'i and 115 for Tawaf. So it's just basically, it's no discount. It's just a combined price for two seater, 230. And then for one seater, it's 115. And, uh, you know, for the, for the elderly, this is definitely a really good option. It helps out quite a bit. So we have that. And then we can go to more and you can look at more things here, like schedules for the Imam and Muazzin uh medical insurance if you wanted to get it but if you have the tourist visa you don't need it because it comes with your visa then uh, there's some guides like for hajj and umrah the uh, for uh, you know rituals for the noble road of mubarak there is daily quran verse from al-baqarah al so i think this is a verse about forgiveness and how forgiving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so very nice alhamdulillah visit the holy city and then you can look at uh, attractions so like uh, basically for us that in Eng that's just a translation of ziyara Jabal Noor is here, Thor Mountain Cave Museum, shop, shopping, and shopping and restaurants, and then uh, about Nusuk. So you can go here, you can view your current permits if you have any, and then uh, history as well. So you can see my history here, then services, and it's the same thing. So uh, let me go ahead and stop recording my screen. And uh, back to you guys here. So uh, I hope that this was a very like intuitive uh, walkthrough of the Nusuk app. And I hope that uh, if you didn't know how to install this app, how to use it. Uh, now you have some knowledge and inshallah, you're able to use it for your next Umrah journey, inshallah. Uh, if you reach this point in the video, I'll just kindly ask if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have about 80 to 82% non-subscriber viewer rate. So uh, if you can subscribe, if you watch these videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. I make a lot of uh, vlogs as well. So inshallah, I'm gonna have a lot of vlogs um, for Makkah and Medina and for Umrah and things like that on my uh, upcoming trip. So please subscribe, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and like this video if it was helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Jazakallah khair.